Jim, since you've been here, you've always talked about defense. You've had some very good defensive teams. And now you look at winning 9 of 10, and you see those numbers, opponents you know, being held 60 points a game, shooting below 40%. Uh, what have we done better here the last 10 days as a team to get this team playing so well defensively? Yeah, I just think we we really starting to understand the game plan. I thought we did a very good job today. I think they're a very talented team, and especially on uh, with Kendall Gray, but I thought we really did a good job of really sort of choking the post and really putting a lot of pressure on him when he caught the ball. And um, I thought Wynn did a tremendous job on Amari May. You know, he was just all over the place, made some tremendous effort plays defensively, especially in the first half. So he gave us a lot of energy. Um, you know, it's just, just focus, you know, I think we've really been focused over the last couple of games especially, so I'm really happy with the way we've, uh, we're have progressing. The cliche around here has been when Kai Howard went down, when Kai Howard went down, you look at DeMond's play running the point, even though we have the two guards set a lot of, a lot of the times, but you look at DeMond's play from the game St. Joe's all the way to where we are now, what's been the, the most impressive progression in the six game period that he's been kind of left to have more responsibilities with the ball? Uh, you know, honestly, it, uh, credit to him, and I would never say this in front of, really in front of him, but the <laughs> fact that he doesn't practice and he's been able to play at the level he's played is really, it's almost like an Allen Iverson practice is overrated type thing. That's what you should be telling me. <laughs> practice? <laughs> so um, I, I, that, you, you know, you show you can really do it. If, when you're not in a rhythm and you're not physically able to get shots and be, you know, be out there with your teammates, you know, uh, just what he's been able to accomplish is just really, uh, I've never really seen it before so it's really pretty impressive let's kind of stay there Demon, because you've had to, to do this you have to take on a whole new responsibility what do you think the comfort level for you from the st joe's game through the dartmouth game up till now has been uh it was a change the dartmouth game really made me kick it into gear though because i have to handle the ball now i'm the only point guard figure i guess you would say but it's it's pretty much the same game i just bring the ball up the court now so it's just facilitating a little bit more and helping my team out, teammates out. You know, we talked about all the three-point shots that you make and where you rank in the nation, but when you look at a stat sheet, do you like looking at that number A and seeing like a seven like you had tonight in the assist column? Oh, yes, I love looking at that. <laughs> now, when typically when you talk defense, and that's been something you've brought to this program since day one, you guys normally have a, a, more time to prepare for a team. What's it like when you know you're facing a guy that scored 48 against a very good defensive team in St. Francis earlier this year, and you've got to guard him for most of the game when you haven't really been able to necessarily prepare for his specific game. Uh, just, you know, focus and toughness, just playing hard. Uh, I had already knew who he was because it's 48, his 48 points, and one of my friends goes to his school. And I just, uh, we, we watched the film, and the game plan was just to pack the paint, so I would just lead him to the help and just trust my teammates and just try to contest every shot and make it tough for him. You guys have won a program record 13 games against Division One teams, 14 in all. So congratulations and a chance for a winning season Saturday against Fisher. So good luck. Thank you, guys.